so hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is pivot table in google sheets so first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now we will be doing this lab that is dsp 1065 the sheet in incognito window now here it is getting sent in automatically sometimes it may ask for username and password now basically we have to create a sheet and then rename it but here is a twist i am helping you guys to create a sheet and then update it accordingly as per lab instruction so that you don't face any unnecessary issue and i understand you have to click on the blank spreadsheet so this will create a new spreadsheet where we will modify the file so first of all you need to see there is no any spreadsheet which we have to copy so we have to just rename the name so let me see as you can see these are the tasks wait for the sheet to fully load then we will modify this name as you can see on the rise of bakery web traffic so just copy the name enter here make sure to paste it carefully uh, not like this just like this only so now here we have to upload the sheet so first of all close this unwanted pop-up now we have to upload the sheet which i have shared in my telegram channel too and in the github repo so you can check the github repo for those who are not using telegram and i will tell you how you can complete the lab so first of all click on file then click on import now from here you have to pay attention because if you miss this step you won't get the score so first of all click on upload and browse the file so i am uploading the file which i have shared on my github repo too so you have to select it and make sure to pay attention to this step so now here you have to click on replace spreadsheet not create spreadsheet or any other options mentioned on the lab so this is very crucial step otherwise if you miss this step you won't be getting any score and you will face unnecessary error we have imported the data now when you will hit check my progress so let's move ahead to the lab instruction and hit check my progress so we got full score and if you don't know how to download the file that is very basic i will tell you in the short video or if you need any help do let me know in the comment section